Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Guest Talks interview. Today, we're delighted to be joined by Ramis Haddadi, the General Manager of Alpha Publishing. Alpha Publishing believes that children and adults have the right to quality education and is on a mission to provide educational materials and courses across the globe that meet international standards while also reflecting and incorporating the cultures and traditions of the particular region. Ramis, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Danny. Lovely being Ramis. with you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Alpha Publishing, please? Thank you very much, Danny. Um, Alpha Publishing is a learning solution organization. We started eight years back as a content provider. And then by time we evolved and transformed into a, a, an educational solutions provider. So in a nutshell, we have core programs that are the uh, US K-12 uh, materials mapped against the Common Core State Standards and the NGSS, that is English Math, English Math and Science. And now we are producing our social studies. We also have our ELT materials that are mapped against the CFR, the Common European Framework of Reference for Languages, from all the way pre-A1 to C1. And of course, we have a, a, an, a state-of-the-art uh, digital platform that is called eAlpha, which is our powerful, innovative LMS, um, supporting these print materials. Um, and of course, we have established strategic partnerships with a lot of partners uh, worldwide, globally, and we, through which we have access to a digital library, a, a psychometric assessment, uh, different assessments that, that, that touch upon the cognitive and non-cognitive skills and abilities of the students, as well as the teachers. We have established also our MEL unit, which stands for Monitoring, Evaluation, and learning that uh, a task, main task is to monitor and evaluate the progression and the performance of the students with the view of, of, of making an impact to improve the learning uh, and teaching uh, uh, journey of our students and teachers. We have a strong presence in the Middle East and Latin America, and we are growing exponentially in Sub-Saharan Africa, Central Asia, Turkey, and East Europe. Amazing. It seems like uh, you've got all the different regions and, and spectrums uh, covered with, with your different uh, solutions. Thank you so much, Ramis, for, for that background. Are there any new initiatives that you're currently working on and can perhaps share some information about? Of course. That's a very good question. Um, when we embark upon, upon the new strategy of the transformation of Alpha publishing from a content provider into a learning solution organization. As I said earlier, we have established strategic partnerships worldwide. So we have uh, we are working now or currently very uh, uh, closely with an organization or a startup called Wise Nose. It's a startup in the Netherlands through which we curate uh, resources through an AI machine and integrate it into our system in the math and science. So practically teachers, students, and parents now will have access to more resources curated through the internet by a very smart AI machinery embedded in, in, in wise nose that is now embedded into our e-alpha. Um, we have signed a strategic partnership with, an, with a digital library that is gamifying or that has gamified stories and leveled readers for students and teachers. It's called Book R. It's a startup in Hungary, prize winning worldwide, and we have now embedded their solution into our offering. We are working closely now with AWS, and we are integrating um, um, their cloud into, uh, migrating into their cloud, actually. Um, we are working as well with Cambridge Assessment Admission Testing, which is a non teaching art of the University of Cambridge, where we have their psychometric assessment embedded into our offering. We are about to sign a strategic partnership with GL Assessment or GL Education, whereby we have access to their CAT4 and PASS assessments that measure the cognitive and non-cognitive skills and abilities of the students. We are also about to sign a partnership with WAND, which is a British organization that will provide a single sign-on for all our students and teachers that are utilizing our content that are on our e-alpha 
as well as other softwares and apps. So instead of being, um, how to say, overwhelmed with usernames and passwords, we are sorting this out by a single sign-on solution. We are working also with people search or language search, uh, through which we have adopted their English proficiency assessments across uh, the levels of, you know, for any purpose, whether it's for visa purposes or for admission purposes, or even for just checking the English proficiency test. Um, we have established our CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, and we have started working with GL assessment on a school by the help of Handa Academy in Cambodia, where we are wow. going to teach the KG and uh, level one and level two students or grade one, grade two, uh, two students, our English materials, and we are going to uh, monitor and uh, evaluate the impact we will be making through the through the, the help with GL assessment, as well as, of course, using our materials and see how this is going to impact the performance of the students. Um, we are now moving into what we call uh, Danny B2G, business to governments. So we are now uh, going for uh, tenders and we are working with in, on, on a consultation basis with governments in Africa, India, uh, the government of the Ministry of Education of Delhi. We are working in Iraq, we are working in Jordan and other countries. Um, the STEAM and the SEL, the Social Emotional Learning, are part of what we are trying to embed into our offering for our students. And of course, what we did is we have uh, contacted an awarding body, a renowned awarding body in UK to do a quality check on our ELT materials. So, uh, so, so we claim that our materials are going to make a difference, are going to make an impact on our students. But how do we ensure this? We ensure this by the NEL, the Monitoring and Evaluation Unit that we started, which is a, a new initiative, as well as through an international endorsement slash accreditation on our materials to make sure that we are really meeting the international standards in terms of the quality, the content, the digital platform that we have. And finally, we are launching now an African or the so-called the African Consortium which has a number of companies worldwide that are joining forces. We are leading this consortium and we are going now, we are looking for fund and we are going with this consortium to, the, to what we call B2G in Africa, where we are going to address the challenges and gaps that schools have there uh, with the view of, of course, making an impact. This is the key word. And of course, by, by integrating our system into their ecosystem, and this is how we are going to make a difference in Africa and from Africa. We are, of course, moving elsewhere through this consortium. That's very interesting and unbelievable, the amount of work. And, and like you said, strategic partners, uh, partnerships are very key. And it seems like uh, you're on top of, of all the different partnerships. So uh, that's, that's amazing to hear. And Thank you. you even though, thankfully, we're past it now, or at least for the, mo for the most part, uh, the pandemic ended up playing a role in reshaping most sectors and, and companies within these sectors. How did the pandemic affect how you had to operate and what you had to change? Or in, in better words, what lessons did you learn from it and how did you adjust your strategies and, and take forward now that we're past it? Thank you very much, Danny. That's a really very good question. You remember what happened two, two and a half years back, right? The pandemic hit, outbreak happened, lockdown took place almost everywhere. At some point, there was 1.2 billion uh, uh, um, inhabitants or, or, or people in the world that were in lockdown. And of course, the disruption in the uh, uh, learning journey or, or learning process and teaching process happened. So we all have to go, had to go online. The, the interesting thing about this, Danny, is that eAlpha was fully prepared to, for, for this, to, to, to take care of this disruption, actually to address the challenges and the gaps and the pain points of the, of the schools. So for example, all of our US K-12 and ELT programs uh, uh, have already been implemented online and completely moved online. They have, we have a lot of interesting features on our eAlpha, interactive in terms of the activities, the games, uh, audio, text, uh, highlighting, video simulations. Everything is assignable, of course. 
automatic scoring in terms of the assignments and assessments, full reporting for the teachers as well as the parents on the progression as well as the performance of the of the students, where they are, what happened to them, and where they need to be, and what plans have to be put in place to address these gaps. Um, the, the, the beauty about eAlpha is that it, the app is allowed uh, online and offline access to fully inter interactive materials. So practically, even if you are offline, you still can access your account oh, as wow. a student. And, 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 and make a lot of things and, and do your homework and read from the, the books and everything. Um, we also created videos on how to use this LMS, step-by-step -step videos in English and in Arabic um, um, uh, for the teachers, for the students, as well as the parents, because the parents are you know, at home and they want to know how to use this digital platform. So there sure. were a lot of videos that were tutorials for teachers as well as students and parents on how to use our EL. The most, the most important thing, Danny, is that we embarked upon a, a, a campaign of webinars where we delivered two kinds of, of training. Product training on our products and, you know, the pedagogy uh, or the pedag pedagogical approach on our products, uh, the features of using eAlpha, um, um, how to uh, use the different features, how to incorporate these different features into the teaching uh, uh, process as a teacher and into the learning process as a student, as well as a second type of webinars, which are professional development webinars. And those are those professional development courses had two interesting features. Number one, they were internationally endorsed by Gatehouse. So, so, so teachers who are getting these uh, professional development courses will get automatically an uh, internationally um, uh, recognized certificate, as well as on uh, topics related to the to the pandemic and the issues related to the pandemic there, where we 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 saw that teachers are struggling with, for example, remote teaching. Teachers were struggling with online delivery. Teachers were struggling with. Um, how do you create a video online? How do you have your, 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 your students interacting in a session online? So we created all these videos. So, so, so we, we, we address this in, in, in different ways, Daniel, uh, the, 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 the pandemic. What we have learned is that organizations have to be agile and flexible. They have to cope with change quickly. And the only way you cope with change quickly is through working with partners, working with others. When I say partners and others here, I'm referring mainly to AI slash tech organizations or companies. Um, so we succeeded in addressing these, uh, these, uh, these challenges. And by doing two things, actually, we maintained our high level of service, resulting in ongoing school satisfaction. And we increased our client base during this period. Um, actually, the, during the pandemic, um, we had a, a rise in the number of students and schools taking our e-alpha and taking our, our content, which proved that the strategy where, where we were heading to made a difference and made, made sense, actually, in this uh, time where people, you know, where there was a high uncertainty level uh, uh, across the globe. Agreed. Brilliant. And, and we talked about some of the challenges that the pandemic brought forth. But as we speak today, what would you say is the biggest challenge in the current system that Alpha Publishing can provide the solution for? Yeah, that's that's a very good question. So, so practically, Danny, what I have mentioned, I'm just going to tie up the things into two points. The first one is that Schools need to shop around multiple locations to get everything they want slash need. E.g., they want, for example, assessment solutions. They want, for example, online readers. They want, for example, curated multimedia content. Now, where do you get these from? You have to go and shop in different locations to get these. And that, which this, this will take me to the second point, which is we provide full solution package for schools. A one-stop shop. This is how we call it here, where schools can receive all that they need to support teachers and students on their personalized learning journey. So practically, instead of you going as a school and talk to an organization in US to get a digital library 
and then go to talk to a, a an organization in the Netherlands that curates resources from the internet. And then you go to the Middle East to talk to. What we did is we gathered all these into one offering and we put them into one full solution for the school. That's why our strategy was to transform into a learning solution organization or an educational solutions provider where schools have everything they need that would touch upon their pain point. They come to us and we give them all what they need. Brilliant. That's so important, I think, to have a one-stop shop, or as they say, um, for all the solutions uh, on one platform. But what are some of the other uh, benefits to both the schools and the educators that are currently using your products or looking uh, forward to doing so in, in the near future? Sure. So Danny, I mentioned a lot of things about what we do and what we are currently doing and what we want to do in the future. Um, um, let me sum up these by mentioning some of the features we have on our eAlpha, as well as where we are heading in terms of our partnerships. So, so as I said, we are transforming into a full and complete solutions organization. This goes in print and digital. So practically we have all what you need as a school from in terms of placement and diagnostic tests, summative and uh, uh, formative assessments, full course materials, including prep materials for English standardized assessments. So if you want to prepare for the IELTS, for the TOEFL, for Pearson Test of English, for even Aptis Lingua Skill, even uh, um, uh, the CELT from People Cert and Language Cert, even all these kind of exams, even if you want to prepare for exams for, 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 for EF education first, you have we have all the materials that are the prep materials that are mapped against the CFR and mapped against these assessments so that you can use them to prepare for these standardized assessments. We have differentiation and multiple intelligence activities. We have multimedia support aligned to curriculum. We have full training solution that is, of course, endorsed, as I said, by, by Gatehouse. And this training solution has two elements, a, a product training as well as professional development training. And of course, we have strong um, allies in the market. We have strong partners in the market. Just to name a few, as I just mentioned just now, Book R, the Hungarian Digital Library, um, um, Wise Knows, the curated resources from the internet, GL Education or GL Assessment, um, University of Cambridge, AWS, WAND, uh, Gatehouse, People Cert or Language Cert, and the list goes on. So, in a nutshell, Danny, we are a trustworthy and reliable. Um, uh, content provider slash learning solution or educational solutions provider, both in content and support. And this is how we come across to our schools. And this is how our schools worldwide see us. Um, we have now uh, um, um, heavily, um, how to say, uh, move to Latin America. Now we have a huge project going on in Brazil, huge project going on in Mexico. We are now very actively working in Hungary. We have conducted a, a very interesting case study in one of the biggest well, cathedra, one of the biggest uh, 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 private language schools in, in Hungary. So what I'm saying here is that uh, we have strong presence in Ghana, interestingly enough. We are moving now into Sub-Saharan Africa. We have a few chain of schools that we are working on. Um, uh, hopefully we are about to finalize this in Japan. We are working in wow. South Korea now. We are working on another big project in Thailand. So, so as you can see, uh, uh, Danny, we are truly global and we are truly addressing the pain points of schools. And we are truly transforming into an organization where you can find whatever you are looking for to address the pain points, the challenges you have, whether you are a, 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 a teacher or a school or, or, or student or even a parent. That's truly amazing. And, and just to confirm, the headquarters of Alpha Publishing is in the UAE, am I correct? It's in the UAE, that's true. We have offices in Turkey, we have offices in Saudi Arabia, we have offices in Latin America, we have offices in UK, we have offices in US, we have a huge editorial team that is working really closely with our editorial team that's based in the region here, the editorial team based in US, and I mean, we are like 
sort of yes. everywhere. And we are happy to explore even opening offices in elsewhere where there is a, a business need. It's amazing. I only ask because it's it's really fascinating and, and um, to have a UAE based local company uh, do all this work globally. So uh, kudos to you and, and, and the rest of the team uh, for that. But last but not least, um, what would you say, and you might have answered this um, indirectly, but I want to see if you wanted to add anything um, uh, in addition, uh, in particular, what would you say is the most unique aspect of either Alpha Publishing or the team or the different range of uh, solutions that you provide? Sure. So, Danny, I would summarize this in three points. The first one is we are a full solution provider. I mentioned this a few times and, and again and again, I, I want to emphasize the importance of working with our partners. They make our journey very interesting. We complement each other and the, 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 the consortium we are going to Africa with is going to prove that it's really working and this is the way forward. So the first point is partnerships or working with partners to provide a full solution to our schools. Number two, more importantly, is the customization and the adaptation uh, abilities that we have. So, so because we own the content, we can customize these contents and we can adapt them to different cultures. This is what we have done in Hungary. This is what we are doing in Mexico. This is what we have done in other parts of Latin America, in Honduras and, and Colombia. This is what we are doing now, in, or we have done actually, in, Jordan, in, country, in the Middle East region, in countries like Jordan and Saudi Arabia. And the list goes on. So I would say this is our second unique uniqueness that we have within, within Alpha Publishing. And the most important thing is the last point, which is the MEL unit, Monitoring, Evaluation and Learning Unit. So I did not talk a lot about this, and I think it's a, it's a very interesting um, question you asked just to end this conversation, this very lovely and interesting conversation, by talking about the, the, the need for this unit. So this unit's task is to monitor and evaluate the progression and, of, and the performance of the students, as well as the teachers in some instances. Now, the unit starts by creating a theory of change. So if you want to, 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 to make a difference, if you want to make an impact, you start by a theory of change. What is your theory of change as Alpha Publishing? What kind of impact you want to make? Where? How? So, so, so to answer these questions, we take our theory of change and we put it into something called log frame or a logical framework. Mm -hmm. This logical framework is a, a set of standards that would identify how the change should look like and how the impact should, should look like. Of course, we follow the, 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 the traditional way of monitoring and evaluation, which is the qualitative and the quantitative approaches, where we conduct standardized assessments, um, as well as interviews and, and, and surveys and these kind of things. Um, uh, this unit is really making a difference in the, in the life of schools, because, because it's not enough as a publisher to claim that your resources will make a difference. The important thing is how you prove this, how you show this. That's why we keep saying it is a demonstrable impact that we want to show to schools. So, so we conduct a baseline at the beginning. We keep So we see where they are, the students are. We keep monitoring the progression through using our solutions and services and products. And then we do a, a, a midline and then we do an end line. And then we come back to the school with, uh, with an impact study where we show the impact and we show how we, we make a difference. Um, um, so, I mean, this is a nutshell, Danny, who we are and how we do things and the, for the, the transformational journey we have gone through to reach to where we want to reach. And the future is extremely promising for Alpha Publishing. The partners we are talking to now and we are going to sign uh, MOUs with in the coming few months will show that we are truly global. We are truly after a solution. We are not selling a product. We sell a solution to a school. And it's all about partnerships. It's about working together. It's about making an impact, making a difference. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Ramas. Uh, that was very interesting. And if people want to find out more about any of the solutions or projects that you talked about today, where can they go to do so? Yeah, everything is, is on our website. So just go to www.alphapublishing.com and go to our social media. We are, we are announcing everything on social media. It will give you a very interesting idea about the videos um, um, in terms of the signing ceremonies because we just, you know, just make a video and we just, you know, announce these. So this will give you an idea about where we are, what we have been doing or what, and what we are about to do uh, uh, in the near future. So we are very much excited about working with schools regionally as well as globally. And again, we are relevant, we are contemporary, we are about solutions and we are about impact. This is who we are in nutshell then. Everything we do is evidence-based slash data-driven. So we bring data from the market and we um, uh, take this data and we use this data to make the impact through changing, adapting, customizing our products to make the difference and make the impact that we claim we make through our partners that we work closely with, with regionally as well as globally. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Ramas, once again. And we really look forward to seeing you and, and the rest of the Alpha Publishing team at Guest Dubai, hopefully later this year in November. So thank you so much, Ramas, Definitely. and hope you have a lovely thank day. You thank you very much. Thank you. Take care and bye-bye for now. Thank, thank you. Care. Bye. Thank you.